Chinese martyrdom. Most people associate suicide attacks with the Japanese during World War II, but scenes such as those shown in the 800 or Flowers of War of Chinese soldiers strapping bombs to themselves to charge the enemy are based on historic events and sacrifice is a common theme in Chinese cinema. The Chinese forces in Flowers of War and the 800 were part of the National Revolutionary Army which included German-trained and equipped units. After 1927, the ruling Guomindang, or Chinese Nationalist Party, engaged in close cooperation with Germany. Germany wanted to secure resources in China, and China was looking to modernize its army. The action these men are undertaking is that of the Dare to Die Corps. This concept of martyrdom was established during the Xinhai Revolution of 1911 when China was fighting to end its last imperial dynasty and establish a republic. Dare to Die Corps were founded mostly by students who were fighting against overwhelming odds, knowing their death was imminent either way. Jackie Chan's 1911 and the film 72 Heroes pays tribute to these martyrs, particularly the group known as the 72 Martyrs, of which many were youth. The men and women who died in such a way during the revolution were celebrated as martyrs. The martyrs were encouraged to write letters to their families, to be shared after their deaths. Their sacrifices would be made public, including the construction of monuments. The Guomindang promoted the concept of martyrdom for the republic thereafter, even using a dare to die corps to suppress an insurrection in Canton. The government would state that the souls of party members who died fighting for the Guomindang and the revolution would be sent to heaven to witness events on earth able to come to the aid of the party at times of need. Joining a Dare to Die Corps became a noble undertaking, and sacrifice would become a common practice against the Japanese, who invaded China in 1931 with superior firepower. <laughs> a Dare to Die Corps first made a significant impact at the Battle of Taizhong in March of 1938. Chinese soldiers wearing explosive suicide vests and carrying swords charged Japanese forces, which included tanks. It was the first major Chinese victory against the Japanese. Chinese suicide bombers destroyed four Japanese tanks during the battle, making a significant impact. At the Sihang Warehouse, a final stand during the Battle of Shanghai, Chinese troops strapped grenades to their bodies. The defense of the Sihang Warehouse was essentially a suicide last stand. The action would give time for other Chinese forces to retreat from the city and provide a morale boost to the people of China, showing the nation's resolve after the losses of Beijing and now Shanghai. The battle would be witnessed from the international settlement in Shanghai, across the Suzhou Creek, highlighting China's struggle to foreign powers. During the battle, one soldier killed 20 Japanese in a daring suicide attack. During the Battle of Shanghai, another Chinese soldier's sacrifice halted a column of Japanese armor. The sacrifices against the Japanese became well known, and after Japan's defeat in mainland China, during the 1946-1950 Communist Revolution, the strategy would be used against communist forces. During the 1989 Tiananmen Square protest and massacre, students also formed a Dare to Die Corps, knowing the real and symbolic power of the title, letting the government know they are willing to risk their lives, defending the protest leaders, calling for political freedom and greater equality. The death toll estimates during the protest range from several hundred to several thousand. <laughs> All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this brief overview on the Dare to Die Corps. Bit of a depressing subject, so I wish you to have a good day and please leave any additional info you might have in the comment section. We'll see you next time.